Welcome back to the Book Nook. I created this channel because I love reading, and I wanted to make sure that you can still listen to stories if your school is in lockdown. Today, we are going to read The Gruffalo by Julia Donaldson. This is an amazing book because of the awesome story, clever rhymes, and beautiful pictures. I can't wait to read it, so let's get into the story. The Gruffalo, written by Julia Donaldson, and illustrated by Axel Scheffler. A mouse took a stroll through the deep, dark wood. A fox saw the mouse, and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come and have lunch in my underground house. It's terribly kind of you, fox, but no, I'm going to have lunch with the Gruffalo. A Gruffalo? What's a Gruffalo? A Gruffalo? Why didn't you know? He has terrible tusks and terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws. Where are you meeting him? Here by these rocks. And his favorite food is roasted fox. Roasted fox? I'm off, fox said. Goodbye, little mouse, and away he sped. Silly old fox, doesn't he know there's no such thing as a gruffalo? On went the mouse through the deep, dark wood. An owl saw the mouse, and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come and have tea in my treetop house. It's frightfully nice of you, Owl, but no, I'm going to have tea with the Gruffalo. A Gruffalo? What's a Gruffalo? A Gruffalo? Why, didn't you know? He has knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. Where are you meeting him? Here by the stream. And his favorite food? is owl ice cream. Owl ice cream? Too wit too woo. Goodbye, little mouse, and away owl flew. Silly old owl, doesn't he know there's no such thing as a gruffalo? On went the mouse through the deep, dark wood. A snake saw the mouse, and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come for a feast in my log pile house. It's wonderfully good of you, snake, but no, I'm having a feast with a gruffalo. A gruffalo? What's a gruffalo? A gruffalo? Why didn't you know? His eyes are orange, his tongue is black. He has purple prickles all over his back. Where are you meeting him? Here by this lake. And his favorite food is scrambled snake. Scrambled snake? It's time I hid. Goodbye, little mouse, and away snake slid. Silly old snake, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a gruffle. Oh! But who is this creature with terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws? He has knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. His eyes are orange, his tongue is black. He has purple prickles all over his back. Oh, help! Oh, no! It's a gruffalo! My favorite food, the Gruffalo said. You'll taste good on a slice of bread. Good, said the mouse. Don't call me good. I'm the scariest creature in this wood. Just walk behind me and soon you'll see. Everyone is afraid of me. All right, said the Gruffalo, bursting with laughter. You go ahead and I'll follow after. They walked and walked till the Gruffalo said, I hear a hiss in the leaves ahead. It's Snake, said Mouse. Why, Snake, hello. 
Snake took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh, crumbs, he said. Goodbye, little mouse. And off he slid to his log pile house. You see, said the mouse, I told you so. Amazing, said the Gruffalo. They walked some more till the Gruffalo said, I hear a hoot in the trees ahead. It's Owl, said the mouse. Why, Owl, hello. Owl took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh dear, he said, goodbye, little mouse. And off he flew to his tree top house. You see, said the mouse, I told you so. Astounding, said the Gruffalo. They walked some more till the Gruffalo said, I can hear feet on the path ahead. It's Fox, said the mouse. Why, Fox, hello. Fox took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh, help, he said. Goodbye, little mouse. And off he ran to his underground house. Well, Gruffalo, said the mouse, you see, everyone is afraid of me. But now my tummy's beginning to rumble. My favorite food is Gruffalo Crumble. Gruffalo Crumble, the Gruffalo said, and quick as the wind, he turned and fled. All was quiet in the deep, dark wood. The mouse found a nut, and the nut was good. What a great story! The mouse was such a smart character. I think this was an awesome book, and I hope you think so too. Thank you for listening, and if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, The Book Nook.